gradient of the curve y equals 2x minus 3 to the power of 5 at the point 2, 1. So whenever a question says find the gradient of a curve, you need to remember to differentiate. So I'm going to start by writing this equation over here. So y equals 2x minus 3 to the power of 5. And so I'm going to find the derivative dy by dx of this equation here. So notice how it's an expression with x inside the brackets and there's a power outside the brackets. Whenever it's in this form, we need to use the chain rule to differentiate. So when we use the chain rule, we differentiate the outside of the brackets, the inside of the brackets, and we multiply those two answers together, okay? So if we start by differentiating the outside of the brackets, we need to look at the power here, five, and multiply it by this bracket, okay? So five multiplied by one is five. What's inside the bracket stays the same, and the power outside the brackets reduces by 1. So 5 take away 1 is 4. Next, we have to multiply this answer by the derivative of what's inside the brackets. Okay, so up here. So I'm going to start by differentiating 2x, which gives me positive 2. And whenever we differentiate a constant, we get 0. Okay, so now I need to simplify this. I can do that by multiplying 5 with 2 to get, to get 10. And the brackets and the power stay as they are. So this is the derivative. This is an expression for the gradient of the curve at any point, okay? But in the question, they give us a specific point, 2, 1, and we have to work out the gradient at this point on the curve. So notice, in our expression for the gradient, there's a value of x here. And we have the value of x here, it's 2. So what you have to do next is substitute positive 2 into the expression here and then calculate. Okay, so when we do that, we get 10 multiplied by 2 lots of 2 minus 3 raised to the power of 4. And 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. 4 take away 3 is 1. So we're left with 10 multiplied by 1 to the power of 4. Now remember, the number 1 raised to the power of anything is always going to be 1, okay? 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is still 1. So 10 multiplied by 1 is 10. So that is the gradient at the point 2, 1.